Welcome to Unlocking Las Vegas with your favorite redhead realtor, Erin Pearson Mills. We're gonna be covering the greater areas of Las Vegas all the way to Pahrump and Mesquite, talking about trends, events, sports, and more. I'm super excited to welcome all of our guests this year and have a great time, which is everything Unlocking Las Vegas. Welcome back to another episode of Unlocking Las Vegas with your favorite ginger power hour. Aaron Pearson Mills, your favorite redhead realtor, and Joshua Nieves with Merit Lending. I like it. So um, I had to do this networking event the other day, and we're, you know, we're really we're getting to know each other, which I think is fun. We kind of like bonded immediately, but in a room of realtors to like stand up and introduce yourself and what's your favorite band or singer. And I was like, oh, I hate that question because I was a wedding DJ for 11 years. I was really into music. And so I had to think about it. And I was like, you mean like this hour today? Yeah. Like, like this moment, can't. like, I don't how think do I feel right now? One? Am I driving to work? Am I driving home? Am I was I with raised my with my grandparents. I like, you know, Frank Sinatra, but it's mm. like, my vibe right now is the Thievery Corporation. Like, have you ever heard oh, of them? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Big so, fan favorite of our, of me and my wife's. That's a. That's it's just amazing. like it's a vibe, and so you know, everybody's like, you know, Lady Gaga, like Queen. What would be yours for the moment? Mine for the moment. Uh, that's a very hard one. Um, I'm into a few different directions of music, so because it depends on. It's hard the to time say. Um, you know, uh, I. I'm big. I'm a big Odessa fan. Um, okay. If I can see Odessa live, uh, that's really uh, my jam. Uh, they are one of the most incredible music groups I think I've ever heard or seen. Um, they're actually coming out with their live album at the end of this month. So I'm kind okay. of excited about that. Um, and I'm going to see them next month. So, um, uh, but Jungle, Jungle has been a big, like ro heavy rotation, uh, just great kind of 70s riff band. Uh, we've like got uh, a little bit of some 80s rotation going on. I love those 80s 100%. classics. Um, but, uh, okay, yeah. What, what, what type of kid were you in high school? Like what was your genre in high school? Oh, that's easy. Uh, hard, just like gangster rap. Gangster rap. Okay. <laughs> little Tupac, little Notorious, I was little Wu-Tang Clan, I little Method. Little... I was the sweet spot of like the grunge kids. So we were like Pearl Jam, Blur, Smith, The Cure. And then my husband's just three years older and he's like hair bands. Like we, we don't listen to the same music like ever. Okay. I kind of spiraled into rock and little punk and then kind of went into like music. House music was a really big part of my life. So I, like it. Um, I, I listen to all of it. I really, I, I can listen to pretty much every genre and so, uh, enjoy it. I, I really, um, uh, Frank Sinatra, you mentioned that yes. he's a big part of my life being born and raised in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um, I did it my way. It's yes. just like, you know, uh, such a, a, a great song. So I have to say Frank Sinatra's in my wedding Vegas venue, like, legend. you know, being in Vegas, I would always thread like the rat pack and the goodness, like through the cocktail hour, but we can go off about that. But, um, I love you because we both have two separate ages of children. So my kids are about nine years apart. So I've got a married 24 year old. I've got the 15 year old. And you've got older kids and a four-year-old? Yeah, 27, 26, and four. And I've got two grandbabies that are uh, my granddaughter's 30 days younger than my last daughter oh my and a two-year-old grandson. That's so, fun. Okay, so they're not, busy household they're for not the last quite school years. age, but happy first day of summer for CCSD parents. Uh, summer vacation, yay. And congratulations, all of you kids all that made graduates. it through. If you're watching the show or you hear your parents watching it, uh, you know, you guys did a great job this year. Hopefully you got good grades and you guys are going to recharge this summer to go take on next year. Yeah. I'm, I'm a booster club mom. So I have a freshman, but I did the senior sunset. I did senior breakfast and it was funny, you know, chatting with them as they're going through the buffet line, you know, are you excited? They're like, you know, half were super excited, half were scared out of their minds and half were just like, I'm so nervous. And I was like, Oh, I'm trying to trying to remember that. I don't think I was ever nervous. I'm like, yes, next. Yes. College. Yes. Next. It was just, it was a, it was a big and emotional And so what do you do stage. as a booster mom? Like you support the foundation of your kids' sports program? In high school. What's so it it's, like? a, it's an old school thing. I think it, it used to be like, what, Ferris, what are the other words for booster mom? You know, it's like the PTA. PTA. Okay, there you go. So we support the teacher staff and like whatever they need to Love do. That. So we do like, you know, coffee carts and teacher breakfast, but then I'm the football mom. So then I'm, I'm there for the football team, donating the water and, you know, serving up those nachos. I love that. We just had a teacher appreciation day actually over at yep. the uh, preschool that my daughter goes to. Uh, we got so to important. kind of put together a bucket and they had their wish list and it was like, we checked a couple of theirs and then they had like what they wanted for the classroom and we just like loaded them up and yeah. the teachers were just like, wow, like 
you like went overboard and it's like why not go overboard you guys are I'm not, here for us so i'm not creative um, like i'm not that mom that. that's like gonna put together stuff i'm like here's a hundo like that i would like you know what i'm saying so <laughs> i put together the basket i, I, went and I got tell it my all. teachers I, I was the dad creative dad that put together a beautiful basket i'm less brained so. and so i'm like whatever you need just text me and so they're like i need eight calculators i'm all amazon done okay that's my Love giving it. is like quick and easy let's I, get it done i'm not creative results but um result yeah yeah just to make everybody happy but um me and my son so he's football like massive football he might even go varsity this year as a sophomore yes. big kid so we're on like a whole summer workout thing i hate working out i don't like it at all i'm always like to be pretty i don't like to sweat and the eyelashes and the hair and the whole thing and we live in vegas so, so is, is is the workout plan based with nutrition as well so he can like powerhouse this year yeah i think nutrition is like way more important than even like 100 percent. like if you're trying to lose weight it's 80 percent diet you know 20 percent exercise which i was always really happy about because i can diet you know the crap out of myself healthy healthily so we're getting up at um 4 a.m i wake him up at five mm. i walk the dogs first then we head to the park he has to run a mile champion and like you know stretch it out and stuff like that and i'm just doing my walking and we live in vegas so it's got to be really early so he got up with Excellent. me 5 a.m first day of summer i love that mm -hmm. that's a champion spirit because you can't do it at three o'clock in the afternoon and it's the sacrifices you make now you know when everybody else is sleeping in that's what's going to get you to the next level uh you know i got to listen to a high level speaker the other day that actually won an ncaa double championship and uh he sat there and said you know he gave up his sophomore summer. Mm -hmm. He passed up the parties. He passed up the extras. He was in the gym two, three times a day. Yep. But he also brought it down to nutrition and uh, being, you know, even on the go as we are, and you're always in demand and the pressure. You have to lead with that nutrition because it's going to leave you exhausted if you don't. Um, yeah. And that's well, something I think is great for to instill with the kids as well. Meal so. planning. I told him today. You know, I said, all right, you make your grocery list because you're at home with the dogs. We're out working. So you make your grocery list and you tell me what you're going to want me to pick up for you to cook and create. So you know, getting those values right away. Like, learn how to cook. I, I don't understand the people that tell me they don't know how to cook them all. There's Pinterest. There's YouTube. There's TV shows. No, that's not my thing. Not your thing. Not my thing. So anyway, um, I'm trying to discover parks. I live in the Southwest, so Enterprise. We've got Western Trails Park, but I don't like to like wave at people and smile and how you doing like every time I go around the track. So I had to find a bigger park. So I went to the Exploration Park at Mountains Edge. Love that one. Amazing. So many things for kids. Huge grassy areas. Splash pads. And then you can actually trek up the mountain see, onto two levels. See the compass? I love that. Yes. Beautiful up there. So what's your uh, what do they call part? that again? A key, I think? Or uh, what do they call that? Uh, I don't know. We I'll have to, to get back to that. We used one, to call that mountain something when I was in high school, but I can't repeat it. <laughs> I can't repeat it. Um, so. My favorite park lately, honestly, uh, Fox Hill Park um, over in the southwest of Summerlin. Um, it's been amazing for my four-year-old. Uh, great family setting. Great for my dog, my husky. He loves it. Um, you've got uh, some zip lines. I think they have a splash pad. They've got amazing zip slides. Zip lines? Yes, they've got little zip lines for the kids to slide on, okay, like um, uh, to, to ride on. I'm sure there, uh, there's a weight limit, so I'm sure that Rocco could knock it on uh, there. You know, I got He's on it. He's pushing 240. I got on it. I was pretty solid. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you but, don't look 240, um, though. No, I'm not 240. Um, <laughs> and he's got about 40 pounds on me. But yeah, absolutely. He's a big um, kid. He just hit uh, six, one and a half. Awesome. And he's 16, 15. 15. Wow. Wow. It's very exciting. So, okay. Um, so if you guys have not been to Fox Hill Park, I really suggest, you know, grabbing uh, some water, grabbing some snacks and heading over there. It's worth the drive. And uh, it's definitely something to experience um, and a great atmosphere. They have a good walking trail as well. I like that. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to hit multitudes of park th parks this summer. So when I don't have classes until a little bit later, I will do the drive, but all right. So I want to talk about what is going on in the loan world. Just let me preface this by saying, because I know they, people listen to it everywhere. Okay. So I don't like to say it's a seller's market, buyer's market, but all I have to say is that we have less than two months worth of inventory right now. We are so, so low on inventory. And so all of my listings are going quite quickly, you know, because they're right now they're all like in the four, 420 range. Yep. So what do we have for our younger buyers? Um, high rates are our best friends high, right now. Thank um, you for saying that. Uh, you know, uh, when they drop the rates, like they just dropped the rates down like a half a point a last week. Bit, um, it was great. Uh, that's 3 million people that can come into the market now. So now we have a supply and demand issue and mm -hmm. now 3 more million people that could not buy or were waiting to buy now are like, you know what, I'm gonna take the plunge. And um, meantime, why people are waiting for the rates to drop and their competition to double, triple, 10 times itself, uh, a, they're wasting money on rent. Yep. 
we're continuing to have um, a housing shortage. And so uh, we're continuing to have more housing formations. We're having some of the largest housing formations ever, uh, mainly because of um, a law that was passed many years ago, Roe versus Wade. That break, happened. Down, break down formations for everybody. Uh, housing formations, when somebody leaves their home living with the parents. So when your child at 15 decides that he's going to go and live on his own and create a family or house and have his own household. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that would be... Um, uh, housing formation. So when the child leaves the nest, when the, when the eagle leaves the nest. Any day. No, I'm kidding. You're out of here. <laughs> no. um, and so um, those housing formations are happening at rapid pace right now because of the uh, birth rate that happened back in the late 80s. And mm -hmm. we're going to see this uh, birth rate actually continue to e increase for the next five years. And so uh, the average homeowner uh, right now buying homeowner uh, age is 33. So they say about 25 to 37 is like the biggest range of home buyers that are in the market. And those um, population numbers are tremendous right now. Okay. And so um, like we that. do see a, a little bit of a decline in, 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 in the um, late 90s and early 90s on the birth rate, which uh, there was a big push. Um, a lot of uh, clinics opened up that were available for certain things, you know, I'll stay off gotcha. the topic of today. Um, but um, these are just factual. And so what we're seeing is, is that supply and demand. And so today's market, um, we've seen the property values continue to increase, even though the rates have been high. And so when you drop down a full point, that's going to bring five to seven million people in nationally. And when you drop down two points, that's 18 to 21 more million people that could not buy or were waiting to buy that that's are going to just survive on the market Bull. to buy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you'll be working six, seven days a week. And then um, now we've got some great news to bring to the market. I'm really excited. This Last week, um, I found out on uh, Thursday that we are bringing back 100% financing. That is zero down payment up to 500000 live in the market right now. Um, it is a 97% uh, down conventional loan. Okay. Um, if you're in the area medium income limits, you can go down to a 620 credit score. If you exceed that area income limit, great news. There's no income cap. Wow. Um, you can actually um, just have to have a 700 FICO score. So you're required to have just a little bit more disciplined credit. However, it's a 97% um, loan to value first mortgage, 30 year fixed conventional loan wow. with a silent Second, 3%. So it's up to $15,000 of down payment on 500000 purchase price. Okay. Uh, and that's available in the market today. Um, you just have to pay back that 3% when you either sell the house or refinance it. I was going to um, say, what there's, a partnership. No, there's no two payments there. It's just like a little cloud. That follows just a you. little cloud that gives you the boost. Um, that's actually available through one of my biggest partners and best partners, uh, UWM. Matt Ishbia, the owner of UWM, has... Um, said that he wants home ownership to be expanded and he is bringing this down payment market to the market himself um, and, and financing that. So we're really blessed to have somebody that's supporting the finance market like this. And um, we have this available in Clark County and, and nationwide. If you're looking to find a lender that can offer this, contact me, contact Aaron. We'll get you connected to the right people. Yeah, I have best friends in every city and state. Yes, and I have wise. best friend lenders or I'm sure your <laughs> lenders are working with my best friend lenders. So um, this program is going to really that, change. That fifteen thousand, it sta stays at fifteen thousand. It doesn't accrue interest over time. Like in thirty years, is it still zero percent interest? Fifteen thousand. Okay. Um, you can keep it thirty years and never refi. We will probably end up, you know, getting that paid off and lowering the rate for people in the near future as rates continue to yes. drop. But they're going to build equity. I mean, the average um, value boost. I mean, they're going to say anywhere from four to eight percent online. I've seen nine to fourteen percent gains in the last year on houses. Um, in our valley. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, that's, that's tremendous when you come into, uh, you know, a house, $400,000 uh, house, uh, you came in and, you know, got your closing costs cut, paid by the seller, possibly a little bit, or, you know, paid your own closing costs, but financed without zero down, yeah. saved $12,000 out of your pocket. And now a year later, you're looking at 35 to $45,000 of equity. That's huge. Well, and if the seller has priced the home right, okay, so we, I got several offers on mine. It was $400,000, okay? And so it was multiple offer situation. I asked them, you know, what's your highest and best? And so this one, it's a VA, and we're very soft-hearted when it comes to veterans. And they kept raising it, you know, because I priced it low so people could have that, you know, wiggle room. And they kept asking for $4,000. And so they were using their earnest money for their closing costs, and they're buying the rate down with this. So the thing is, is that you have, you have that option because what is it? Every... 
$50,000 is like another $50 or over hundred thousand dollars is $50 or 10,000. I'm saying um, wrong. 10,000 is 60, 65. Um, I say every 50,000 is about 300 right now in the market. Yeah. So um, the thing is, is that there could be so many different scenarios for every person. They're like, well, so how much down and what would my payment be? Yo, listen, everybody is so different. You know, it's like, you have to be with somebody like you to work it out eight different ways to be like, here's our different options. What sounds best for you? Absolutely. We have lots of options, lots of great programs. And I'm always looking at what the best financing direction is for people. For that individual. Um, mainly we're getting people, you know, a 30 year fixed loan that's safe. We're mm -hmm. getting them into a home that they're going to build equity on. We know that the mortgage rates are going to drop. I mean, it's been all over the, the, the news. It's been all over the writing on the wall of the statistics. It's election year. And, um, you know, if I was going to say, I think, you know, they talk about inflation. Um, you know, they're going to have the CPI report come out. It, it drops the April report. We're probably going to see, you know, uh, inflation at like a 2.7. They wanted a 2.0. If it's dropping, you know, 2.25 a quarter, a quarter, a month, we're probably going to see that September range when we really see a dip in rates. So it's like, yeah, a you know, minute before the election. And, and, and the people that are waiting right now for that, see the people that buy now, they're going to come back in January, February, and they're going to get a rate reduction on their property. Yeah. And they're going to have less competition and buy a better home. Now, people that come in the market in September, per se, when the rate drops, that's, you're going to see, you know, six, seven offers on a house, 10 offers. Now, all of a sudden it's like, hey, do we do, you know, how much can we bid over asking price? When do you recoup this? And just and, draining um, your savings and, account, and, which and is And now terrible. we have to play ball with like, can you pay over an appraisal value? Part? Or beat so, California cash. Um, and so really, I, I think the, the zero down payment program that just came out is really something to take advantage Enticing. of and what, now. And what like should be your credit June score? June to September will be the easiest. I mean, if you're underneath, I think it's 84,000, um, and, and we can double check that in Clark County, um, it's uh, going to be 620. Uh, with an approved eligible through uh, Fannie Mae. If you are looking at the other side um, of not of making more than that, then you have to be at a 700. Uh, and then you just have to have the approved eligible. And let's that. break this down. So I'm helping some friends do some rentals and it just like, I almost fall over because I have to let them know what the qualifying, you know, the agent notes say. It's always three times the amount of rent. So if you're looking at $2,000, you have to make six grand a month. What is that per year? Break that down for me. And they want you to have like 690 credit score and above. So I had this, you know, this cute couple and I looked at them and I was like, can we talk about buying versus renting? You're so young. And so let's sit down and really have a conversation. Let's go to lunch. I was like, you have to actually put down like $7,000 to get into this rental. That is insane. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and how much was the monthly rent? The monthly 2, rent? 2000. Okay. And it was, it was terrible. And I was like, listen, you don't know to say no if you don't know. So let's, let's have a conversation with somebody and break it down and, you know, get on a path. That, that's just my only thing is that the, the rental race just shocks me every single time. Yeah. And something I look at, like, it, you know, if you were looking at that, let's say you were going to put down, um, buy something at 300,000, um, townhome range. Cause you're trying Great. to keep your payment around that range. Uh, you know, and your, your budget was $2,000, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't have a down payment or you have just enough to, for the 7,000 to cover the closing. Well, <clears throat> You know, that's nine thousand dollars that you would need to get into that house. Yes, a and rental. So, so even if your payment for this house for the next two years, right, was you know um, four hundred dollars more a month. Mm -hmm. So let's say it was twenty four hundred or twenty six hundred. Worst case scenario for right? three hundred, yeah. That's you paying off your down payment that you didn't have that over the two year period. You know, now you're two years into the house and you're sitting on eighteen twenty five percent equity. That's huge. And so that's the value. I sell the, the wealth gain. I, yes. I understand rates are high. I understand values are continuing to grow and climb. And I think they're going to continue to climb. I think that real estate's going to double uh, in a lot of areas across the nation over the next 10 years. And I think we have nine years left of that. And I think it's going to triple in some areas like IE Las Vegas. I well, really believe we're going to see 185% gains. And we saw that last year. Yeah. Um, and so I only need 171% more to be on track. So True, but I always say, you know, drive till you can afford it because I'm huge in Mesquite. I'm huge in um, Pahrump. I love Pahrump. You can get so much there for so little. So if, if the 45 minute commute doesn't bother you to get so much more for your money, drive till you can afford it. Yep. And if you're saving for a home, stop saving. Come use the 100% program and take the rest of that um, savings that you were going to save $400 a month on or $250 a month on and realize that to build that into your payment and afford it and afford it to get home. Because when 
you know, when it's time that you finally save that money, that house that you can afford today, that you will not be able to afford tomorrow. And I really am a strong believer of that. Um, I want to lay that out there to everybody. Yeah. Um, I'm really committed to helping everybody get home. I want to see everybody in Las Vegas be homeowners, not renters. Zero um, percent and, down, and everybody guys. across the nation. I mean, if you um, are working and you are paying rent, you uh, and you're paying over two thousand dollars a month, or even twenty five hundred a month, or oh, plus. I've seen that. Through thirty two hundred dollars a month, I see for some four bedrooms on houses here. You guys can afford to own, and that's the message I want to get out to you know your people, the world. Um, it's it's really important to me to let people know that you know brokers are here to help avoid the banks. Go to the local brokers. You can find us on mortgagematchup.com, mortgagematchup.com. You're going to see a lot of us on NBA TV, WNBA TV, because um, we just signed an official um, marketing agreement with them, the first ever. And so like um, again, Matt Ishbia UWM is really committed to making sure that we are getting the best sources of financing out to the consumer. The average consumer that uses us um, is saving anywhere from seven thousand to ninety six hundred dollars, and that's been documented. So well, thank you, Aaron, for and, having me out here today. And we're to full time professionals. We are full time professionals, and we are two people that don't have the quote unquote commission breath. So if it's not a right time for you, if it's not the numbers don't work out, we're going to put you on a path to eventually down the road. You know, I just like you to know to say no before you know, right? That's fair. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I so love that. the questions are always welcome because we might we might surprise the heck out of you. I mean, so let's repeat that again. You're gonna contact either one of us. If you have zero down guys, zero down, and I'm the shark negotiator, so I can probably get all your closing costs covered. Let's be perfectly honest. Okay. I'll, I'll you... even throw in that home warranty for you. Let me pay for that for you because everybody's like, oh, well, it, what if something breaks? I can just call the super, call the no. No. And I've got fantastic handymans. Okay. And if you're 580 to 619, don't quit. Don't give up. Call us. We can get you on a buy a house diet. We talked about fitness in the beginning of this, how you're working oh. hard with your kid. Let's diet. get people on a buy a house diet. You just got to sometimes do a couple of things. Um, you know, stop, you know, keeping the fat, the, the credit cards fat, like the chocolate, like the chocolate ice cream on the couch. You got to trim them down. He can you be your mortgage trainer. It. And um, that's, that's, you know, I love to help people Hashtag with credit mortgage trainer. and get you there. Thank you for that. Um, and, uh, you know, my goal is to get you fit, get you ready to get you loan ready and get you home. And so um, it, it, it takes a village to help people. And it takes just a couple of tweaks on your credit sometimes to get those scores up above a 620 if you're not there. And then you get to get home. And, and that's a big deal. With the ginger power. Ginger power hour. Who are the most like direct focus and amazing people on the planet. And you know you, what? Man, if you don't true. like the word ginger... I'm sorry, we embrace it. So but we've got the energy to get you home. So count on <laughs> us, energy. call us, and let's get some results. Let's help you guys. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. It's, it's so good be to fun. do this again with you. So thank excited you. to help people before those rates drop. Think about that. Have a great day, you guys. Let's go.